Generic greetings and welcome to Construction Plus Airships. Once again, this is episode 4 and in the previous episode we made the Gav Bombardington. I'll show you what we made. We've got to create ship and then to open design we'll open the Gav Bombardington. It is designed to do pretty much one thing and that's bombard at extreme range. Now you can see there's it's slightly different design from what we made because there was a lot of feedback and people saying oh well actually it's got a few flaws etc. So I've tried to minimize those flaws. Now one of the a uh, couple of couple of points now it doesn't have any fire doors which people pointed out and yes so if this thing sets on fire what we really have to hope is that the fire point here uh, the people working there will be able to run around quickly and put the fire out because if it hits any of these coal stores or the ammo stores around here the thing's just going to go up like a just, like a bonfire it's just going to go straight up and explode right However, hopefully because of its range, and remember it does have armor as well, it should be able to take a couple of shots, and well it shouldn't be shot at a lot, and when it does it's got the armor there, and it should just hopefully take care of the targets faster than um, they can take care of it, and that was, that was one of the points that people mentioned. <clears throat> Not really a big point though, so I didn't really do anything about it. I haven't put any fire doors in. I would have to do a fairly big redesign if I wanted to put proper fire doors and support in. The other one was, if we get invaded, if one marine got, comes on board, then the chances are they could take out the whole ship. Obviously crew will fight back and stuff, but they're not very good at it. So I've uh, taken the liberty of putting a couple of defensive points over there, as well as a couple uh, back here as well. Okay, so we do have uh, six guards and two... Uh, uh, main mar uh, ma marine sort of guardy things at the front. So eight in total, okay? So that should be able to take care of most boarding. Um, there's not really any... I don't think the AI really does excessive things like I do where I put a lot of board. Like the like the Ass Warmingtons, they are really good for uh, boarding ships, but obviously that's got like two or three berths there for assaulting, whereas the computer only puts one or two. So we should be all right there. I've also connected up these top bits just in case we need to get around the top quicker. It just makes it look like a big key. And obviously it will open doors. Um, the manual override with all of these heavy cannons. Right, so there's that there. Perfect. Uh, we will just leave that and then we will uh, probably unpause it. Actually, unpausing it is going to cause a couple of things. Firstly, as you can see, we're going to get assaulted by two people. We've got the red guys up there and the the green guys. Now, again, the red guys are not really sending much at me. But what I'm going to do, I'm sick of them, so I'm going to get the guardian. And I'm going to move it over there. Now, will that work? Let me just check. It is... No, it's actually switched the other way around. Let's invade that there. So I move the captured ship over to Tepid Falls and hopefully take that out. I don't know what they've got there, but we'll give it a go. And then defend against uh, this green guy. Now, green guy is probably going to send a lot of fleets after me. He's got two on the left hand side there. Now this is going to get chaotic. I'm just going to start the game. Uh, this is the it's, <laughs> this is the standard fight that we've had a couple of times now where they send one little ship. This is the red guy. Send one little ship over to me. Start firing down and obviously there's nothing for me to really do other than just sit and wait it out. I don't want to speed it up to max speed or even to further up because there seems to be a weird... I'm, I'm getting a weird bug when I play where it starts lagging out quite bad it starts to slow right down but then that carries on through all of the fights in fact I was getting about one or two frames a second um, earlier when I was uh, just testing it so I'm not going to do that we'll just have to watch it at normal speed memory leak or something or maybe just something going on my computer either way <coughs> that was a quick win uh, they just ran out of ammo same thing over there now this is the green guys and again it's nothing really to worry about so we'll just start it there and then we'll move the bomber straight up top and there we go and it is actually lagging out still I don't know what it is about it but um, it's starting to lag out for some reason it's weird anyway there goes the bombs or oh, we will get the bombs coming down and there they go Boom, 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 and one of the big, th one of the big problems that we have is that uh, this. Oh my good grief! That's really getting. Yeah, that that's burning. That that's burning quite well. Lovely, lovely. Um, <laughs> the swap. I don't think that landed. Yeah, that landed hard. In fact, it took a little bit of tree out, and then that was uh, the end of that. One of the things that we have with the Swarm one, uh, Swarmington, one of the bad things is that the Swarmingtons, um, they don't have a very good uh, service ceiling, so they can only stay about there. I think when we do the version 2, we're going to have to alter that. Anyway, it looks like they have obviously attacked and now they're running back. I'm just going to leave that there. I need to go over to Tepid Falls and it looks like they've got a couple of ships there. Uh, this is my ramming ship that I stole. I'm going to put it right at the back here and I'm going to ram their tower. So we'll start that and we will uh, start and I'm going to do a ram and ram it right there. So here we go. Ramming speed. Oh, good ram. Very good ram. Excellent. 
So what we'll do is we'll back it up and we'll go back in for another shot. Now hopefully a couple of rams will take this tower down. But obviously it is a tower made of stone. So we'll reverse that back up. And then we will do a ram. And here we go. Bang. Oh, lovely. That worked out quite well. We've managed to take one big chunk out. However, the ramming prow is... Um, getting shot. Oh, oh, we're still pushing forward, remember? That's what the ramming does. It, it'll keep trying. It'll always try and go where you tell it to go. So here we go. Let's see if we can take this tower out. We'll go for another ram, and here we go. Didn't bother doing it. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, nice. Nice. There's a big chunk gone. Excellent. Uh, looks like we've got a bit of a problem at the back. Oh, the tower's gone. Excellent. Uh, the Duke, which was up there, ran out of ammo, and we managed to take that out. So we'll do a gentle takeover. And I don't know why. Oh, what they've done, they've actually assaulted me now. That's an interesting one. They've actually assaulted me. I guess because I didn't destroy their ship, so they get an immediate sort of attack back. And the problem I have is that this thing doesn't really do any fighting other than a bit of ramming. So I'm just going to keep running away, and they will eventually run out of ammo. Uh... <laughs> It's a bit of a weird one, but we'll give it a go. We'll move this further down. Like I say, we're just running away here, and they'll eventually run out of ammo. We do have some guns on this thing, but uh, it's not really about that. Obviously, they're firing a lot more than I am. Uh, we can move it over there, and then we will flip it when it gets to there. So there we go. And hopefully it won't. Yeah, it's not going to nudge into the tree, so we'll fly over there. And then we'll do a little spin round. Obviously, it's raining as well, so that's going to put fires out and stuff. So there we go. We are now... Oh, we're getting shot. We're getting shot. Yeah, our ramming prow is getting shot. <laughs> and we've won. Yeah, they've run out of ammo, so that's fine. So, looks like they're running back to their only base. The red one down the bottom there. Excellent. So we'll unpause it. And it looks like green is coming back to Stormless. Again, I'm not really too bothered, but what I want to do is actually destroy that ship. I'm sick of that ship coming in and doing silly little raiding. You can see it's right at the back there, so it's nothing really to worry about. We'll move the bomber back, and then we will start that fight. And obviously, we'll move the bomber straight up the top there and use our service ceiling to our advantage. I think we will get there eventually. See, I don't want them to run out of ammo. I really want to destroy them first. So here we go. Gav Bomber, straight over the top, aka the brick, and actually what happened is we've just landed on them. So that's, um, that is a way of doing it, and then it's coming straight down to the Assaultingtons. I will do a board ship on them, but I don't know what will happen. We'll move the bomber further down as well. Now, obviously, this is, um, lower than uh, we should really be going, but what I want to do is really get some good hits in. There we go. <laughs> oh, my good grief. That ship is, um... Yeah, it's, it's getting on fire. What I'm going to do, I'm going to box it in here. So it, it's going to have to only... The only thing it can do now is back out. And um, obviously that wouldn't be good for it because it's going to get set on fire. We'll move the Swarmington further back here so we can get a bit more flame into it. There we go. Lovely, lovely. And eventually we're going to hit some at Vital with these bombs. Bombs do a lot of damage. And obviously this isn't very well armoured. Uh, looks like we're actually... Whoa, look at that. They've actually boarded and captured... The Swarmington. Ah, I've never seen that. I've never had one of my ships captured like that, especially an assault ship. Excellent. We have won. I believe we ha have. We won. Whoa. One giant unplanned leap. Um, this is interesting. They've now captured the Swarmingtons. They've captured one of the Swarmingtons. I'm gonna have to destroy one of my own ships here. And looks like the other one here. Maybe we can go to a board ship. That one there. Can I do that? Uh, it looks like both of these... Uh, I've still got hold of them. Oh, yeah, that's that's falling from the sky. Right. So, they've boarded and captured one, uh, one of Swarmington. The other two have managed to defend themselves, and obviously everything's okay there. But this one almost has no crew, and looks like the Suspendium Chim is gone. There we go. So, Wolf ran out of, um, uh, of ammo, so we still didn't destroy it. Uh... The Keeper of Crows, which is our defensive tower, is no ammo, it's ran out of ammo. The bomber survived, the Swarmington survived, we disarmed one other Swarmington, and another Swarmington has been destroyed, which is not good. That's an interesting one. Right, okay. What I want to do, uh, I do still have this uh, fleet over here, so uh, this ship, so we'll move it back. Obviously, this Tepid Falls over there, which sadly has got no defensive uh, systems whatsoever. Uh, we've still got the uh, Pug Rock over there. <laughs> that's Pug Rock. Uh, <laughs> it was a look at that and go, yeah, it's a Pug Rock. Uh, we're going to move our fleet back down to here because we're getting assaulted. And look again, they're sending red, uh, blue is uh, blue, red. 
colorblinds, uh, is sending another fleet towards there. And obviously, it's only going to be, yeah, it's only going to be that little thing. It's going to be a typical setup here. We will move our defensive structure at the back, and then we will just wait and um, see what happens. And I'll sip of beverage. We're not going to be able to destroy them. Oh, today's beverage is a cup of tea. Uh, we're not going to be able to destroy them, obviously, but um, it's not really going to matter because it's just going to be a, just a standard wait and see what happens. Look at that, actually. I've just noticed that their ship has got a propeller on the front rather at the back. There's no convention saying you have to put it on the back. It's just I always tend to do that. Because, obviously, the game doesn't really work on a principle of what at the front gets hit first. It's sort of you basically target a square and it will hit all around there. Which some people like, some people don't. It's fine. Right. I mentioned in the uh, last episode as well that, uh, you know, maybe shooting through these, maybe maybe sh these should block sight. And I don't know whether they... Well, they don't block line of sight. You can shoot through these uh, suspendium floating blocks. But what I... What? I mean, maybe shooting through them is, is still okay. It makes sense. But I don't know if there's an accuracy modifier for trying to shoot through them. Like, you get a minus accuracy for doing it. Anyway, it looks like I've managed to defeat them just by staying there and doing nothing else. And uh, Green is sending another fleet towards me here. So we'll have to see what happens. And, oh, actually got a couple of uh, couple of different ships here. We've got our Swarmington up the top, which is, as you can see, got a very high service ceiling. The reason for that is it's, um, it, it's pretty much destroyed. But I'm going to move up the top there, and then uh, I'll tell it to board one of these ships. The others, however, probably going to have a bit of a problem on this one, but we'll start it and see what happens. So we will, oh, it's actually already been taken out. We'll say, do a bit of assaulting there, then we'll move the other ship up, and then, obviously, it's lagging out for some stupid reason. I don't know why. Sometimes it does it, sometimes it doesn't. Um, it looks like we are flaming that ship there quite... Armor's gone! Yeah, yeah, of course armor's gone. Oh! Do you like five frames a second? I heard so. Uh, no, you, you heard wrong. Um, right, so I guess we'll move this bomber further down. I mean, this is this the only thing we can really do here. Um... I do need to make some more ships, though. I think it's apparent that we are running out of ships. We're going to have to get rid of this thing. I pause it for a second. It's the only way I can actually issue any orders. Uh, we'll do a ram, and we'll just say ram over there. And hopefully their ship will bow down and get in the way. It is not. However, the Swarmington has been taken out and completely destroyed. It got set on fire, and then it's gone. Wow. That's an interesting one. Let me pause it here. That's an interesting one. I did not expect that at all. Let me use the... Uh, I was going to go for a ram with the bomber, but I think that'll be a bad idea. What I want to do is just take out their little ships. Obviously, we've got a little ship just there. We are doing our utmost to take these guys out. We've only got one ship left, really, so I'm going to have to move it to there. They've only got a couple of little ships. There we go. That one's, that one's now out of action, so we've only got one two ships to really worry about. We're going to flip this. Oh, I actually pressed F for putting out fires. F is flip, but only when you press move first. Right. Pause it once more. The bomber needs to move down to there. Oh my good grief. I don't know why it's running so badly. Uh, victory, actually. The, um... We managed to destroy one of their ships. Destro my, my guardian is a mobile. That's the one down there. <clears throat> And the Swarmington is destroyed, so we've lost another Swarmington, which is bad. What we need to do then is we need to go to Build Ship, and we need to go to Aswarmington. And we notice Stormness, Build Ship, Aswarmington. And we should really redesign these ships, but we'll get onto that at some point, I'm sure. Right, actually, looks like... Haha. <laughs> looks like... My Gav Bombardington is now finished. However, it is the old version, so I'm going to go to Refit, Open Design, and we'll go for the Gav Bombardington, and then we will refit that one okay so that's just going to refit that just so it's uh, actually a decent ship and now we're going to move it down to this area here which we probably won't need it but we'll see what happens looks like i'm getting invaded again slight problem here uh i don't know what's going to happen let's just click uh, start this is the uh, red guy down the bottom so uh, what can we do other than just sit and watch it nothing else really I've just noticed there's mountains there. Mountains in the background. That's quite nice. Obviously, you've got these uh, weird traders as well going by and little... That's like a weird lizard thing that slowly drifts about. I think there's dragons as well. There is actually dragons planned and things like that. If you look at the uh, roadmap for airships, it's quite interesting what uh, he's going for. So, land ships and things like that, so you can actually uh, move stuff on land, which is, uh, which is an interesting one. I assume that the land ships can be a lot bigger, but... Uh, 
obviously they have a disadvantage of they can't fly, so who knows. There's loads of stuff you would want to see added, but uh, yeah, it's one of them things. It's only a certain amount of time. Uh, victory! We've managed to take it off. Excellent. So, no ammo on uh, them, and I survived on my fortress. So, what I'm going to do is attack straight back with this ship. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. We will see. I'm moving my fleet back up to Stormness, because obviously that's where they're sending theirs. And then they are back with... What the actual ass is that? That is Cloud Ship. <laughs> Look at that! That is really weird. I've never seen that design. <clears throat> is it supposed to look like a cloud? I have a feeling it might be. Um, right, here's a problem. We do have only one Swarmington. It's not even one. It's a half of a Swarmington and the bomber left. So I'm going to move this back. We'll click start and hopefully it won't lag out like a boss. We'll move my bomber straight up into the air. Because I have a feeling that that thing's got a high service ceiling. It has. Look how high that thing can go. I think, though, I've just pipped it at the post. I think, yes, I've just managed to get above it. So it can't really go any higher. No, I don't think it can. And we are bombing it quite nicely. It looks like my tower. I'm just going to use my Gavis Warmington to move down there. We'll have to flip it. They're on fire. I'm going to have to scrap that thing. I should have scrapped it beforehand. Either way, it looks like we are managing to... Get some bombs off there. That is fairly heavily arm, uh, armoured by the look of it. Even though it's got a very high service ceiling. I don't know what that noise was, but I have a feeling... Oh, yeah, the uh, the Swarmington's not faring too well. Let's just move further down. I assume they're targeting my defensive tower back there. Yes, they are. Right. Oh, looks like they're trying to flank my bomber again, which is not good. They're actually really, really manoeuvrable, this cloud thing. This horrible cloud thing. So, uh, I'm just trying to... Get it as best I can. Looks like I've just fired. That was good. I don't know if you saw that. One bomb. One little stray bomb went wee and hit him right in the ammo store. And that's now obviously put him out of action because he's defeated out of ammo. This one. Brace, brace, brace. Man down. I'm bleeding. It's going to hit the ground. Oh, yeah. That's um, destroyed. Look at that big crater there. That's because ships keep crashing into the same area. Right. Gav bomber. Move it over here. And, yeah, that's uh, a bit of a ram. We're going to have to move it further up and about there, I think. And eventually, oh, look at all them bombs. Oh, they've actually started shooting me as well. That's not good. The Gav Bomber is not meant for uh, getting shot at. It's meant for bombing, obviously. Uh, but sadly, we don't have any other support ships here. I mean, look at the bombs. The bombs don't they really do work. They function exactly as they should. And I think he's going to come for a ram. We're going to have to move back up. We do have quite good acceleration there. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one of their airships is currently just a couple of uh, guns with a bit of ammo next to it sitting on the suspendium bit. That's the suspendium uh, lump. I'm just going to put these guys on aimed fire because we are running low on the old ammos. And the bomber is really hurt. That's it. That bomber is getting damaged. There we go. We're starting to really ch take chunks out of it now and we just need to keep reacting. Obviously, I do have a big... Um, do I have a big cockpit in this? I have a bridge. Yes, I think I do have a bridge. Which means that um, I can issue orders very quickly. Which means they're going to react very quickly. Looks like I am really starting to take them out here. The bombs are starting to take the toll now. And I am just pushing them back and back and back. So, we just need to keep the pressure on. Keep moving them down. I think I've taken out one of their suspendium chambers. Because they've dropped a, dropped a fair height. Oh, hang on. Spoke too soon. Doesn't look like... Oh, they've just bumped into us. That's not good. Keep going. Keep going. And... There we go. Look at that. There's massive holes in this ship. Absolutely huge holes. So, ah, there we go. We've managed to take it out. So we'll stop that. There's a ship. There's a ship. There's their other ship over there. Right, okay. I was going to say, there has to be a ship left. So they're now out of action, okay? So, we have to move over here. What's that? What's that symbol? Ah, we're running out of coal. Yeah, we're not normally in the air this long. This is, um... Quite a unprecedented oh, uh, scenario here. That was a good shot by the by the bomb uh, by the uh, the bomber. I'm just bombing them on the left here. They're getting absolutely wrecked. Come on, we took a big chunk out the back. Mm, the bomb's still dropping. Target ship, that one. 
Oh, there's a bit of fire. Come on, keep going. There's another fire, there's another fire, and there's another hole. I think we've actually run out of some crew here. It's taken a while to do this. There's some more hits. We just need a good hit on the ammo star or something. This is a very, very close fight, this one. Too close to, uh... Too close for my liking, in fact. Hmm. I'm not saying I don't like a fair fight, but... Oh, I like it when that happens. You see that big chunk there? Nice victory. So, the Mars, no ammo. No crew quarters on the integrity or the brave. Keeper of crows ran out of ammo. Survive gav bomber at Swarmington destroyed. So, we've run out of, um... A Swarmington, so we're gonna gonna keep building all of these Swarmingtons. Build ship, a Swarmington. Build ship, a Swarmington. And down here, we will go to build ship, a Swarmington, because we need to put it in with the Assaultington. Sorry, the, not the Assaultington. We've got a Swarmingtons we're building there. However, the Bombardington is about to storm here, and that should be interesting. Right, there it is. Um, <laughs> it can only just fit uh, in the... Um, in the area here, that is actually that's actually got a higher service ceiling than I thought. That's a lot higher than I really thought, and that I really want actually. That's well, no, I I, I think that's fine. All right, we're going to put it there, the big key of doom, and we're going to start. And they've only got by the look of it that ship up the top there, and that little one back there. So, what I might do actually is move it up here. The reason for that is if I if I put it back here, they could probably swarm me. Actually, you know what? No, I am going to keep it there. I'm going to keep it there. I think I should be all right. Okay, so we'll start this and let's see what happens. So first things first, we're going to pause it. Target ship. We're going to target the um, this one down the bottom there. Now, this thing is armed with the biggest cannons I can have, right? They, does, they don't fire that often, but when they do... Oh, oh, it hurts. Here we go. So we'll just click start and they're going to start loading the cannons. And eventually we're going to see... Some fairly big shots whiz past and slam into there we go. There's the shots. Bang, bang, bang. Boom! <laughs> what the actual ass happened there? What the, did you? <clears throat> I was gonna say, did you see that? But of course you did. That just exploded in one hit. Well, it was it was two or three hits. I'll be honest, but just that look. That was insanity. That was great. Oh, we like that. Okay, so now. We have to take this thing out, and we've got a bit of a problem because uh, we can't really get out of the uh, the hole that I've sort of shoved ourselves in. So what I'm going to do is gently maneuver it. Uh, yeah, I didn't really think of this, and um, we can't really maneuver in here. What I'll have to do is uh, move it. I'll flip it to there. Okay, so we'll move it forward, then we'll flip it to there. There's going to be a very very tight squeeze if we can even make it. There we go. We managed to flip around, which means some of the cannons. Might be an arc. Are they an arc? I don't think so. Oh, they've just run out of ammo. <laughs> no ammo. They just ran out of ammo. Victory! We'll do a gentle takeover. And that's it. That is the red guy completely destroyed. Wow, okay. Fantastic. They've been completely destroyed. That's what we like to see. Okay, so we finally taken one out. We've actually owned... Well, I was going to say we own all of this center island, but we don't. We've, we're, we're close to it, but we don't own it all. Excellent. So we've got a gentle takeover going there. I'm going to keep that ship there because we want to take over these guys. I'm guessing, though, what I need to do is start moving some ships. Uh, oh, that, they are moving. Yes, they're going to assault me once more. Uh, we'll move all of the ships that we've built over to uh, this area here and then what I'm going to do is build another ship because we haven't really done that this episode and the plan is to build a ship every episode not because we have to but because we well yeah I guess it's because we have to no we don't have to just build a ship for no reason but um, it's it's construction I like to build the ships is the best thing so as always comments were in that comment section and lots of them so asking what you want to make what you want to make and uh, flame ships were a fairly decent choice, you know, a lot of people saying, yeah, we should make a full flame ship, but we do have ships that are about flame, not about flame, but the, the Swarmingtons are ass warm in tons, so they, they set things on fire, making their ass warm, and then we assault them, okay? Um, it's a very, very chaotic ship. Obviously, on the front of the Bombardington, we do actually have some flamethrowers, just in case something gets close. I don't think it ever will from that uh, dis display there. A couple of people wanting some long-range ships, but uh, what 
that a couple of people have also said that what we have to do, we have to make some rockets. We've got rockets and we should really start using them. And I agree. Because rockets are not accurate, not safe, but devastating when they hit. And I think we're going to make a Rocketington or something like that. Basically, a long range. We've already got a long range ship with the Bombardington, but we need a... <clears throat> Some sort of long-range vessel that can just fire loads of rockets for the crack. But, I don't know whether I want to make a vessel or I want to make a structure. Um, I think I'm going to go with a vessel because it seems an interesting one. So, what we need to do is put our rockets on this thing. Now, the problem I have is that the rockets, as you can see, fire straight forward. So, to make something other than just a brick, it's going to be fairly impossible right so it's just gonna have to be something like that one two three four five okay so it's just gonna be a fairly big a fairly it's just a big line like that okay we could for example put them further back like oh we can't see the problem is that they um they go straight down we could do that ah okay but then we're getting very close to the design I've just made which is um yeah don't know if we want that or not Let's try it. Let's just try that. I'm going to try and make like a bit of an orb, in fact. Like a salt orb. We'll go for a coal store there. Do you want a coal store there? Uh, I think we want some, um... Hmm. Maybe fire doors, actually. Maybe maybe some fire doors on this one might be a good idea. So we'll put fire doors like this. Right. Fire doors there. Good start, good start, okay? Because um, them rockets go up, whoa, not good. Right, ammo store. Ammo store. We'll have two ammo stores like that. Excellent, good, 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 good. And then we'll go for a... What's our service ceiling? Minus 75, okay, not good. Uh, that is now 123, but with everything else, I think that will do us quite nicely. Actually, what I'm going to do is put a fire point in first there. And then we'll go for a suspendium chamber there. Actually, no. No, 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 no. What about a coal star? It's got the same problem. Okay. What I want is... Maybe we don't have to go with two suspendium chambers. Because of the arc of fire on these things, which is basically straight up. If we need to. I think what we'll do is... I think what will be alright is... Uh... We don't really need small ammo stores. We've got two very large ammo stores there. Small coal stores, like that. Corridors, running straight up like so. And then we want... Some way of actually making this thing float. Which would be... What do we have? Small suspendium chambers. One there, one there, and one there. Will give us a 56 meter ceiling. That will actually do. I don't really need any more than that. I think we'll go for a... So we need some supply hatches. We'll put them in. We'll put them in later because I can. you can pretty much put them anywhere you want. We need some sort of um, crew on board. So we'll go for quarters. Top and bottom. There we go. Main crew, 14. Recommended crew, <clears throat> 22. Air sailors, 24. So we're about right. We're about right. We will need to put a couple more in because I do need a bridge up the top. I need... Oh, a telescope. Equipped with a telescope, spotter can direct fire nearby weapons. Oh, okay. That's an interesting one. So we'll put a telescope in. Allow us to... Uh, increase the weapon accuracy by 30%. That's what that does. That's pretty, that's pretty funky, isn't it? We'll have that. We'll have that in, actually... Where do we want it? Telescope. Where do you have to have it? Yeah, you have to have it there. Okay, fair enough. That's fine. Uh, we'll go for a cockpit. I don't think we need any more than just a cockpit. Do we want a sick bit? Mm, maybe. Recommend a crew 23. We've got 24. I'll need to put some more in because we still haven't got propulsion. I don't think we need to go very fast with this. I think a sail will do us quite nicely. Yeah, that that's fine with me. That seems to work. Uh, we need some access hatches, supply hatches, so we'll go to the bottom there, and more. There we go, and I think, because we are recommended crew 27, we've got 24, I think if we put one more berth in, we should be alright there. 
birth. Recommend the crew 27, air sailors 27. We are just on the money with that one. Okay, I think that is about right. I will go to structural and put some corridor around the bottom there. Just because it uh, makes sense. That is a fairly ugly ship, I must confess. But it is uh, actually exactly what I wanted to make, really. It, no, it's not very... It doesn't fly very high. In fact, the service ceiling is only 30 meters, which is a bit worrying. Um, it basically is... A rocket ship. It will drift in very slowly because obviously if this 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 sails only can makes it go very very slow. Turning time you can see is very slow, and we will go right. Fire the missiles, and it'll be a very very long range ship. So I think we'll name this thing. Uh, we'll go for a. Obviously it's going to be called Gav because that's how it works. Gav, C Gav no Gav, uh, Rock, Rockington, Rockington. The, see, the Rockington is very, really, it's really hard to say. So, Rockington, the Gav Rockington. Excellent. Okay, and we will save that design as, obviously, the Gav Rockington. Save that, and we'll build it. We might as well start building that. And next episode, we'll see what that is like. We will also, next episode, hopefully, start invading uh, green and finish green off. If we can get green out, that'll be fantastic. And we only need to worry about the bottom stuff. But we'll see what happens. As always, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.